what's up guys and welcome to another episode of is it she thing tv by me dominique let's get right into this welcome to the hit the floor season three episode two review by me this episode was great another great episode i'm not surprised because i know this season is on 100 i know they work their asses off okay so yes so we continue from where we left off last episode german okay <laughs> So after he wakes up Asha from his nightmare, you know, calling Olivia's name, she's wanting some explanations, okay? She's like, what the hell, German? What's going on? His bitch ass. Okay, look, guys, I can't... German repulses me to the point of... I, I just can't explain how he makes me sick this season, you know? Asha is sleeping in the same bed as a murderer do you know how twisted that is all right so he just says to her oh you know she wanted to hurt you asha okay and that was enough for asha see now i could see i couldn't be asha okay because if i was her in that circumstance i would have been like hold the fuck up but why are you calling her name okay you didn't even know olivia like that so why are you saying her name and what do you mean she was trying to hurt me Hmm. Okay, that should have been a red flag for her, but we'll we'll see how that goes, all right? So Lionel is losing her mind over Derek's deal, okay? He is not budging. He's not trying to sign it because he knows what he wants. He has a purpose for why he's holding that. However, Lionel just can't seem to understand why he's doing this, okay? So um, he tells her to figure it out. He's trying to give her signs like, bitch, look. Who is not on the team that should be on the team, okay? That used to be my girl, my boo thing, who made me change my ways. Who's that, huh? Why don't you think about putting her on the team that maybe I might sign this shit, all right? He didn't say that, but he was communicating it to her, all right? But Lionel was just, no, she's not here for it. She just wants his ass to sign it, all right? Okay? So, yeah. She, she basically thinks it's just money he wants, really. Well, really, that's not it, okay? He couldn't give a shit about the money, even though it helps. He wants Asha. So, speaking of Asha, <laughs> she is doing some webcam choreo for the Boston team, okay? They're liking her moves. They're really interested. So, she's in German's apartment, getting it, getting it. And I'm just like, oh, my God. This is where your life has come to, Asha. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> okay? So, then German walks in like, oh. Oh, so you dancing, huh? all right what's going on and she's like oh you know i'm just doing some choreo for boston and he tries to act like he's happy when really i don't know what the fuck he wants from her i really don't know what he wants does he just want asha to just stay in the house okay have no friends just dedicate her life to him all right bear all his kids all his demonic kids and just and just live in the house happily ever after because it seems as though german doesn't want asha to have a life he doesn't want her to live her dreams he doesn't want her to be herself he doesn't want her to have friends he don't want her to do shit he just wants to be the breadwinner no am i wrong this ain't love guys okay this is sick every time she gets an opportunity it's like it burns him and i don't understand why that is all right you killed for her Okay, you killed Olivia because of the all-star vote. All right, but now what's your excuse? You're doing too much, okay? So, yeah, he's just not supportive. But anyway, um, long story short, Asha eventually gets an offer from the Boston team, okay? She gets an offer, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> you bitches will never be the devil girls, okay? This ain't the same. Don't get excited, Boston. All right, however, Asha's just happy to kind of be acknowledged, but she's kind of conflicted. She doesn't know whether she wants to take on this offer or she wants to stay in L.A. And you know why that is? Because her boo Derek is in L.A. <laughs> All right, and plus, you know, her family's there and her heart always will belong to the devils. Meanwhile, German just isn't happy. All right, he acts like he is, but he isn't. So, yeah, moving on. The Devil Girls and their fire truck dance. Okay, it was very sexy. It was a hot dance. The girls looked absolutely stunning. However, it was just lacking Arsh's presence. Okay, and that's just like the first dance of season, you know, three. It just, it, you just feel Arsh's absence. And it's so sad because Arsha really makes an impact on the team. You know, when she's on the team, I don't know, she just brings a certain vibe. And you're just like, oh, I'm feeling, oh. Oh, okay, I'm feeling it, but without her, it's just like. <laughs> okay. All right, so 
so yeah moving on so lionel is still trying to pull all the stops to get Derek to sign his deal so she's kind of negotiating with his new agent lucas aka aaron samuels from mean girls bitch <laughs> all right okay she's trying to get him to i don't know boost up Derek's deal or do something meanwhile aaron samuels is feeling jude all the way okay all the way let me let me look back at my notes mm -hmm. <laughs> all right yeah so she just basically wants Derek to get the perfect deal that's what she's trying to get out of this and lucas is just he, he don't give a shit, okay? As long as it comes, as long as this perfect deal comes with Jude on the side, he don't mind, okay? He would he he doesn't mind taking this back to Derek as long as Jude is there. Meanwhile, Jude is clueless as shit. Lionel and Lionel peeps what's going on, okay? She's like, oh, okay. Hmm. So Lucas wants a piece of Jude. Alright. Jude, come with me for a minute. So she takes him outside. She's like, look. It's clear that this guy's feeling you, okay? So I'm going to need you to hold yourself out for a little bit whilst we get Derek's deal on track. And Jude is like, what? What What do you mean He's he likes me? He's flirting with me, okay? Jude is... <sighs> Guys, I can't tell you how much I love Jude, okay? Because there's something so pure about him. He's so, he's so innocent to me, okay? And I really hope that's really him and he's not putting on a front. Because other than that, he, he just... He pulls out my heartstrings. Every time I see him on the screen, I just, I just want to hold him and tell him everything's going to be okay. You know? He's adorable, man. He's so oblivious to everything. He's naive. He's clueless. He's, he's Jude, and I love him, okay? That's why I hate Zero, because I feel like Zero takes advantage of that. Right? But, yeah, Lana just is basically pimping out Jude. So, after that, Jude and um, Lucas go out, and they discuss um, Derek's deal. Meanwhile, Jude is trying his best to flirt with him. <laughs> He's trying his best. And, and Aaron Samuels, I need to stop calling him that, okay? Lucas is just looking at him like, what What are you trying to do? And Jude is like, Lionel said you liked me, so I'm just flirting with you, okay? I'm just doing what she told me to do, all right? <laughs> okay? And Lucas is like, look, I'm feeling you. You ain't got to do all that extra shit, okay? Guys, I'm just here for it, okay? I am here for it. Fuck Zood. I'm sorry, Zood fans. I'm so sorry, but I don't understand how you can root for Zood when Zero is so effed up in so many ways. I know you're trying to see the good in Zood. The good in Zood. I know you're trying to see the good in Zero, but Zero is such a cocky bastard. I need him to bring it down a few notches this season, okay? You know? But Lucas and Jude, y'all don't see that? Jukus? You're not feeling Jukus, no? Lude? Y'all gonna like Lude soon. Jude reveals that Zero was his first, okay? His first and his first love and that's why he's just so like you know so mesmerized by him is that like, he finds it hard to let go and i'm like oh jude please let go of this devil spawn please okay he's toying with your heart dude you know what i just want you to be happy i really do all right and if zero can turn his life around and be that man for jude then i'll be here for it but right now i just want zero to go to hell for a few months okay you know get your life with aaron samuels all right and I want to say a quick shout out to Adam, okay? Adam said, watched my review on Snapchat and he posted it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you. Mm -hmm. Okay. But anyway, moving on. Pete tries to warn Sloan about playing with fire, okay? Why did he warn her about playing with fire? I don't recall. Yes, so he's referring to her getting the Lee Commission involved in trying to get rid of the Kincaids, all right? Pete is just trying to look out for his, his, I was going to say his wife. She ain't even his wife. His baby mama slash girlfriend. <laughs> that name is all right. All right, his future wife. He's trying to look out for her, all right? Meanwhile, Sloan is just on set it off mode, okay? She has just had enough with all of this shit. She just wants to bring down whoever she can bring down. And that's why her ass got kidnapped, okay, guys? All right, yes. Some guy comes out of nowhere, okay? And he's like, oh, your husband. No, not husband. Pete told me, you know, to look out for you. You need a bodyguard and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, okay. And towards the end, what happens? Her ass gets kidnapped. And I'm like, only you, Sloan. Why does all the fucked up shit happen to Sloan? In fact, why does the fucked up shit always happen to Kimberly Elise's characters, huh? Isn't it enough? TT got killed. 
Sloane's getting kidnapped. Sloane got drugged. Sloane was on drugs. Okay, she got exposed. Her titties all out. Who else? Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Why are you always going through shit, Kimberly Elise? <laughs> I love her. I love her. All right. But yeah, Sloane gets kidnapped, guys. But you know, she handled it pretty well. But yeah, Sloane's got it covered. She's she's brave now, okay? She's faced the worst. So we'll see how that goes out. Um, moving on. Terence, okay, so shit really isn't really going so so well for Terence. He loses his shoe deal, okay? Loses 10 million. And I'm like, I mean, but what are you gonna use the shoe for? You you got a peg leg. <laughs> I'm joking. Guys, you know I love Terrence and Yelena. Stop it. But I'm just saying, like, you don't need no shoes now. Your leg broke. Okay, sorry. Anyway. Alright, but do you know what gets me? Yelena's belief in her man is just so endearing and it's so amazing, alright? Terrence is down in the dumps. He's upset. He's losing his deal. He's not playing on the team right now. He's on the bench. He's not number one anymore. Meanwhile, Yelena isn't trying to hear that shit, okay? She believes in her man. She believes in his abilities, okay? She knows who he is, and all she cares about is them building their empire together, okay? They want to be the power couple. They want to buy the devils, and uh, honestly, guys, how I feel about that is, I don't know. I, I don't I don't want them to buy the devil. I don't want them to own the devils because I just don't feel like they're very equipped to do so. However, I love how she supports her man and I love how he sees the good in her, whatever that is. I'm here for it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't know how you can hate it. It's beautiful. She doesn't deserve it, but she does. Okay? Moving on. So, she then reaches out to her mother who has 10% ownership of the, you know, the devil's organisation since Olivia gave it to her. Right? And she just wants to do whatever she can to get as many assets as possible since, you know, Terrence's deal is out of the work, so, you know, that's another loss for them. All right, so she reaches out to Vanessa, and Vanessa notices the engagement ring, and she's like, oh, so my baby's gotten engaged. And I haven't announced it yet, okay, but um, about that deal, the 10%, and Vanessa's like, no, 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 I know what I want. And that's it. If you make me a part of this wedding preparation or whatever, I'll give you that 10%, basically, is what she's, she's trying to say, okay? All right. So, and that's that's just not anything Yelena wants to hear. Yelena's not here for her mother. Yelena just wants this 10% and that's it, okay? She doesn't really want to be all buddy-buddy with her mother like that, all right? We come to find out why. So, yeah, I'll go back to that later. I have to point out the scene <laughs> with Yelena and Sloane, okay, standing side by side looking at the Devil Girls Canada shoots, okay? It was just funny as hell because they are they are some badass bitches. I, I hate to love Yelena, but I love her and Sloane, okay? I was just getting real vibes, all right? Bad bitches on deck for real, okay? All right, BBOD could take notes. For real. So they're standing there and then Lionel walks in and they shade the fuck out of her. They're just looking at her like, bitch, you lost? What are you doing here? <laughs> okay, they're both not here for Lionel. And you know what? I kind of see Yelena and Sloane teaming up in some sense. I don't know. I don't know. I see it. I feel it. I feel it. But how do I feel about Yelena and Sloane having a little kind of alliance? Meanwhile, she still hates Sloane's daughter. That That's crazy. Right, but we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. So Derek and Pete have their scene, and that scene was just giving me every bit of father and son-in-law feels. Okay. Let me get myself together. Okay, so Derek's shooting his hooves, he's practicing, and you know, Pete's just asking him about his deal and why he's holding out. And basically, you know, Derek kind of what does he say? He says something about, you know, he wants an empire. He wants an empire, and Pete is basically like, look, don't lose track of what you really want, okay? Don't lose sight of who you are and what's going on. Just because you want an empire, all right, there's so long you can hold that for before people are like, you know, fuck his deal, all right, we don't even want him to play no more. He feels as though Derek's ego is getting in the way of what he really wants, and honestly, I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like Derek knows what he wants, okay? He clearly knows he wants Archer back, which is why he's pushing this deal. However, he is going a little bit too far because they've added stupid amounts of money to his deal, okay? So he's he's stanking rich right now. However, he's doing all of this because he wants Archer. Pete doesn't know that though, okay? But that was a good 
good advice from Peter as well. I'm just here for it. I love it. Peter's like the father that Derek has never had. Girl, don't do it. Okay. And Pete then says the one line, something will become more important than your ego. And then the scene cuts to Asha. And I'm like, this is foreshadowing at its finest because we know it. I know it. Derek and Asha end game. Okay, get with the program, please. Sorry. Mm. Okay, moving on, moving on. All right, so <laughs> the scene cuts to her trying on that stank ass Boston outfit. Who? What? What the? What was that? What was that? What was that? You would get. What was that? Jetsons look. What the shit was that around her neck? No, 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 Boston. Go somewhere with that. Anyway, Sloan walks in, sees her trying it on, and Sloan's like, "Oh, what's happening?" And Asha's like, "Well, you know, I got a call from the Boston team, and they want me." And Sloan basically supports her. Okay, obviously she's gonna miss her baby if her baby goes away, but she supports Asha, and Asha's like, "Damn." So all y'all really want me to go? None of y'all gonna try and stop me. <laughs> right. Look, Asha doesn't want to go, plain and simply, because Derek is still in LA. She wants her Derek to fight for her, okay? Going to Boston means giving up on, like, letting go of everything. However, since she feels as though she has nothing to lose right now, it's kind of looking like the best option, okay? So sad. Anyway, moving on. So then she says, you know... She feels as though German's being distant because she wants to go to Boston. He hasn't been answering his phone calls. Why hasn't he been answering his phone calls, guys? Because his stank ass is at Olivia's grave. See, he's taking this murdering new persona to a to new heights. Okay, you're doing too much. Even America's serial killers don't do this type of shit. The fuck you doing at her gravesite? Oh, I was waiting for Olivia to come and frill out his ass. Okay, I was waiting for her hands to come out of the grave and just pull him down or some shit. What you doing? What was he doing? What was you doing? Huh? Giving her roses? The roses you stole? What was he doing there? Oh, you do. Oh, oh. He's doing too much. Anyway, meanwhile, Pete makes zero captain. And really the obvious choice is Derek. I don't know why he wouldn't make that. Uh, he didn't make Derek captain because obviously Derek hasn't signed his damn deal yet. But you know what? I ain't tripping because I'm sure Derek will be captain later on. All right, because Zero ain't shit to me, guys. But he made a fair deal, you know? Zero has won two rings. Zero is very smart. He's calculated, okay? He's a demon, <laughs> all right? He can make the team win, but he's just not... I don't feel like he's well-equipped to be a damn captain, but we'll shall see. We'll see. All right, moving on. Girl time with Kyle, Raquel, and Asha. I'm here for it. Asha tells the girls that, look, she got an offer from the Boston team. And Kyle's like, the who, what, Bust Boston who? What, bitch? No. And she was like, what about Derek? And Asha's like, <laughs> what about him? <laughs> Asha was acting surprised, like, bitch. Like, you wasn't thinking about him this whole time. Okay, Asha's like, what about him? And Kyle's like, look, what I'm saying is, when I think long term, I see you and Derek. And I'm like, you see, that's why we love your ass, Kyle. That's why you that bitch. Okay, Kyle just knows. Yes, what about Derek, Asha, huh? Your boo, your husband, your future baby daddy. Huh, Kyle, you are, you are the one. Meanwhile, Raquel's like, mm, no, no, no. I'm team German, okay? German's always there for you. And I'm like, bitch, if you only knew. <laughs> if you knew. <laughs> Go and go and look after M Miguel, okay? Just go and do something, Raquel. You 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 lost me with that. I was here for you, but you know I ain't here for your ass no more, okay? Talking about Team German, bitch. The fuck? But yeah, we come to find out that Raquel has a heart problem, and I'm like, damn, damn. So that's a reason for her not to be on the team anymore, and that could possibly mean something else. You get what I'm getting at? No? Look at that. That'll break my heart if that happens, though. But, yeah. You need to miss me with that Team German shit, Raquel. What are you trying to do? You, what you mean? Try it. Anyway, Asha said she's Team Asha. And I was here for that, okay? We know you're Team Derek right now. But she's Team Asha. She's looking out for herself right now. And I'm like, you... you that's it. That's it, girl. Get it. All right? So then we see Asha and Derek. They have their beautiful part scene, okay? I've seen this scene so many times, so it wasn't a surprise to me. But it was just beautiful, guys. All right? If you can't see the love in their eyes, then I don't know what you're seeing. It's so obvious that she wants him. 
All right. Did you see? Did you see? Okay. Did you see all of that? <laughs> I'm just saying, if my ex stood in front of me like that, hey, oh, reunited. Okay. He was just spitting knowledge to her. He was giving her all the eye sex in the world. She was eye sex in him. All right. And he just basically said, so, you know, he's like, how are you? She's like, you know, I'm getting good responses on my choreography. He's like, that's good. You see how he's genuinely happy for her? Meanwhile, German has to fake it? Oh. All right. And then Derek says, and then she asks him, all right, so I hear that you haven't signed your deal yet. What's going on? And Derek says, you know, he knows his worth and he wants to be where people know his worth too. All right. And he doesn't want to have any more regrets. He's subliminally talking about Asha. All right. And Asha's just mesmerized she is just like mm, i get it boo i get it and i'm like you guys need to go get it okay go behind the bushes somewhere y'all nasties you guys know you want each other all right oh anyway that's what he says to her and then he runs away and it's just it's beautiful they're just oh i can't wait guys i can't wait <laughs> they're so in love it's beautiful meanwhile yelena is trying on wedding dresses with mama okay and um she's so still set on buying the devils so any time spent with her mother is good as long as she gets it and she looks absolutely stunning in her wedding dress guys so beautiful so beautiful should have been Asha's dress <clears throat> anyway um yeah and vanessa on the other hand just keeps bringing up yelena's abusive father she's like oh you're going to look so beautiful when James walks you down the aisle. And I'm like, really, Vanessa? And Yelena's like, you see, stop that shit right here. Is that what you're trying to get at? Is that what's going to make you give me the 10%? If I have that demon walk me down the aisle? Because if that's so, fuck it. Okay? And the thing with Vanessa is she seems very oblivious to the fact that what went down in their household really affected Yelena, okay? Yelena isn't being a bitch to her mother for no reason. She's being a bitch to her mother because her mother really allowed herself to go through such an abusive, tormentful situation. Allowed herself to be a punching bag to this man instead of saving herself and going away, all right? You know, Yelena had to witness this and she's lost basically all respect for her mother. And, um, yeah, so she opens up about her mother getting abused and not leaving. And Vanessa tries, she's like, well, you know, it was better me getting beat than you. And Yelena's like, fuck that shit, okay? You all shouldn't have been getting beat, period. And for the first time, Vanessa finally realizes that Yelena's hate and anger stems from the fact that she wasn't a mother to her, you know? It wasn't, it had nothing to do with the dad not being, like, there for her like that. But it was the fact that her own mother really wasn't a mother because the mother was getting her ass kicked half the damn, most of the damn time. And they just have an emotional ass scene. And I have to give credit to Logan, Browning, and Lynn Whitford, okay? A legend and a up-and-coming legend in a scene together. This was, yo, this is why this show is so important, guys, okay? We don't see scenes like this. We don't get moments like this anymore because reality TV shows are taking over. All right? We don't get these real moments, okay? Yes, this is a scripted show, but I'm just saying if a scripted show is giving us more reality, something that we can all relate to as opposed to a reality TV show, then you, you can see there's something wrong there, okay? This scene was absolutely amazing. They both deserve awards. I didn't cry. But my eyes got watery, okay? All right? It was it was amazing. It was beautiful. So, long story short, Vanessa finally gives Yelena the 10%. And for the first time, it seemed like Yelena wasn't, wasn't, like, she, she was happy. But it wasn't happy that she got what she wanted. It was happy that her mother was, like, finally realizing what's been going wrong. You know? She was like, oh, okay? And then the mother's like, you know what? I won't even force you to call me anymore. I'll let you call me. And Elena was just looking like, you know what? I might just do that. Okay, so I'm, that, that was a breakthrough moment for the both of them. And I'm here for it. All right. So German comes back from stalking graves. All right. And Asha basically quotes her boo, Derek. Okay, girl, you ain't shit for that. <laughs> she quotes Derek. Okay, she's like, um, 
I want people to know my worth and I want to be where people know it or some shit and blah 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 quoted everything Derek said and Jeremy's like okay so what are you say? she's like I want to go to Boston I want to be on the team and Jeremy is like I'm, I, I, and I'm, I'm gonna go with you I'm gonna go with you and we're gonna start a new life in Boston he is such a low down dirty shame alright so you see how his ass was kind of against the whole Boston thing in the start but now that he his guilt's eating him up and he's just getting scared now the nightmares visiting graves and shit it's just getting into him now alright he's trying to use Boston as a way to get away from all of this okay he isn't thinking about Asha and her career he's thinking about his damn self oh you make me all types of sick German Okay, he makes me so fucking sick. Ugh. He's so disgusting. He's such a punk. Oh my god, Jonathan McDaniel. You deserve a fucking Oscar too. Damn, you were killing this role, okay? Mm. <laughs> mm -mm. German is disgusting. So what does he do? He gives the devils a two weeks notice. <laughs> he gives the devils two, a two weeks notice, okay? Because... You know, he's, he's about to start his new life in Boston, okay? <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, Lionel shows up to Derek's new place, okay? Looks like Derek has a new mansion and it's sexy as hell. Hello? Did you guys notice that? No? All right. All right. Lionel is pissed. She finally realizes why he's holding out, okay? He sees the beautiful picture of Asha and Derek. And she's like, you stupid ass big tall dummy! Okay? So you holding out for this bitch? You holding out for her ass. Meanwhile, she ain't even thinking about you. No. And Dara's like, what do you mean? And she's like, oh, you ain't heard? Asha is going to Boston, okay? And she's going with German. He handed in his two weeks notice, all right? So you keep holding out for this bitch. She ain't thinking about you. And Derek was looking speechless as hell. And I'm like, oh my God, my poor baby. All right, so what does he do? He goes back to the arena. He's like, you know, fuck it, Lionel. I'm going to sign it, all right? Only if you let Archer back on the team. And I'm like, finally, that's all you have to say, okay? He wants his girl back on the team. And I'm like, oh, oh, looks like German's about to be unemployed, bitch. <laughs> Welfare line. Welfare line. <laughs> Looks like you're about to be unemployed and your ass ain't going Boston. You're too damn fast, okay? Shame. I just quickly want to point out that Derek, a multi million air, okay, baller, is going through extreme lengths just to prove a point to Archer just to get her everything she wants in this world okay which is just to simply be a devil girl which is just to fulfill her passion okay her desire just to dance okay he is risking his entire career basically okay his career is on the line he is not signing his deal which is is due simply because he wants his girl back on the team if that doesn't say that the if that doesn't show that Derek has not only grown as a man but is so in love with Archer, then I don't know what does, okay? This is about the fact that Derek is a selfless man right now. And he's willing to do everything it takes just to have his girl be happy. That is just a beautiful thing. So then Zero goes to Yelena's restaurant. And who does he see? He sees both Yelena and Terence there having, you know, a little business meeting with the lead commissioner. And he comes to realise that shit. So these two may be the ones, you know, responsible for trying to get rid of the King Cades, all right? Because he came to Jude earlier saying that, oh, people trying to get rid of the King Cades and blah, blah, blah. So now Jude looks like, oh, I got the tea. And I'm like, you got the wrong fucking tea. Shame. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that was it, guys. That was basically it, all right? I covered everything. This was another amazing episode, guys. And um, I'm just proud of the show. I'm so happy. And I can't wait for the next episode because it's about to go down what masquerade party bitch somebody better get some something popping okay all right because we see derek and Asha have their scene i'm just saying masquerade people be wearing masks <coughs> <coughs> sorry all right guys um this is she from tv please make sure to comment like subscribe and i will see you next week okay love you all so much all fans goes to Jane LaRose, James LaRosa and VH1. Love the cast. Love you all. Thank you so much.